What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Still Sharp, which is beat the par score on Oni Sword Base. So start up this mission, I'm doing this on normal. We're going to run up this ramp right off the spawn and have that elite smack us. Just let it happen and then you can wrap up around behind them and assassinate them real quick. And then we're going to sprint in this direction and bypass all of these enemies. We're going to wrap around the side here, hug the right side, and then we're going to run over here, past these skirmishers, past the barriers, and we're going to grab the target locator right from this box right here. And we're going to look back where we came from and just lay it on the ground right there. So all the enemies that are chasing us will just get killed by all of that happening. And you can see I'm going to take out all of the enemies that are close to me, all these skirmishers with some headshots from my DMR. And we got a hefty amount of points right off the bat there. Sometimes there's an enemy or two that survives up here. Make sure to grab two plasma grenades. There should be a bunch up there. So I'll mention I'm playing on normal, but you want to increase your multiplier by putting catch, famine, fog, thunderstorm, and tough luck on. That's what I have on here. And we're also going to juggle a plasma pistol down here to the next section. Make sure when you're juggling it, you juggle it to the right over here into the grass. If you juggle it onto one of the flat light gray areas, it might get stuck in the geometry as you cross over that threshold there. But juggle it to this middle rock area, and we're going to use our plasma pistol to noob combo this elite. Overcharge Plasma Pistol to deplete all of his shields and then quickly finish him off with a headshot with the DMR and then finish off the grunts as quickly as possible and then we're going to go back and grab our DMR, or not our DMR, we have it already we're going to grab our target locator which actually turns out it rolled all the way down here so try not to let this happen, try to place it nicely and not let it roll all the way down here and we would have normally uh, target located them from much further away so we were much safer and you want to target locate the one that's closest to you and then I was actually going to go grab the plasma pistol so I could stun this second wraith and I could hop into the turret like so. And that gets the driver to get out and you could easily uh, smack him and kill him. Just wrap around behind him as he melees you like we did that first elite. Or you could noob combo him uh, with the plasma pistol and DMR again if we had that. But uh, after you would do that, you would just take the wraith and you would make sure you bring the target locator with you. So you would want a DMR and target locator at this point. We're going to move forward and there's going to be three grunts up ahead here over the hill. And there's going to be a ghost over the second hill right here. So be ready to lay into these guys. You could actually kill all three grunts with one blast if you get the arc correct over the hill. And you could finish off the ghost over here with one more blast. So we want to kill these guys as quickly as possible and move through this level as quickly as possible. Because par time is a factor when you're doing par score. Um, if you get over par time, your multiplier starts uh, dropping. So you actually lose points. So we're going to come to the top of the hill here and we're going to get out, get our target locator out. And we're going to target locate kind of to the left of that building up ahead. And we're going to just kill all of the enemies that are initially in this area, or most of them. And then we can move up, and that will get all of the reinforcements to come into this area, which will arrive via dropship. You can see there were two elites that still survived there. And be aware of this elite up on the top of the roof here. So we kill those guys quickly, and uh, there will be a spirit dropship that drops enemies off here. And we want to just kind of shoot this rock, really, because most of the enemies uh, are around this rock. So you should be able to kill most of them just by shooting that rock as they jump down. And then we'll be able to finish anybody off who was not killed by that. And then we're going to go over here back to this little watery area over here. And there's going to be two ghosts that are dropped off. So we're going to kill these guys as soon as they're dropped off. And you want to try to hit them directly. Because uh, if you actually hit to the side of them, you might just kill the driver and not the ghost. And that is less points. So you want to be able to kill both of the things at the same time. And then we're going to go over here and shoot that phantom if you can. If not, it's totally fine. And we're going to jump up here and activate the switch from outside here without even going up to the top. If you can't really seem to get it, don't worry about it. Just uh, kind of go up the stairs and do it as quickly as possible. But I'm going to continue shooting this uh, phantom because that gun is actually going to come online that we activated with the switch. And it takes it out and it gives us the points because we contributed to it. So if you get enough damage on it, it will actually give you a bunch of points right there. So that's worth like 4,000 points, including the maximum time multiplier. So we're going to head over here now, and there's going to be two ghosts over here along with two elites and four grunts that are dropped off. And we want to hit and kill the ghosts directly, like I mentioned. So we get the maximum amount of points. We get the kill for the ghost and the kill for the uh, driver, whoever it is, as well. So you can see when we kill a ghost, we're actually getting a double kill. One for the vehicle and one for the driver. So we are going to run down here. You can see the grunts are being dropped off, like I mentioned. You want to kill as many of these guys as quickly as possible. You can see that I didn't kill all of them, but I'm going to just move ahead. And you can see I'm kind of just moving, running, and gunning at the same time. I'm not really just kind of stopping and waiting because we want to get the best time bonus possible. So it's not worth it to get a few extra points from a grunt if you're going to lose a multiplier on all the other enemies you've killed. So we're going to move down here, kill the Revenant. That's your main priority when you come into this section. Then we're going to shoot the roof, or, or not the roof, but the ceiling of that structure up there because the splash damage will kill the jackals up there most likely so you can see we got the double kill there and we're going to circle this structure 
and we're going to just kind of kill all the enemies as we see them. And there's going to be a bunch of elites and grunts in this area, along with the two jackals that we took out. They tend to stay over there, kind of where we took them out when we shot the ceiling up there. But just keep going and try to do this as quickly as possible, like I mentioned. And once we kill all of these guys, we're going to hop out. And we're going to make sure that our wraith is facing the direction we want to go once we're done with uh, activating this switch. So we're going to make sure it's facing this way. And we're going to hop out so it's ready to just boost across to the next section or the next uh, part of this section. And we're going to activate the switch through the wall. You could actually activate it. You don't have to go all the way in there. And we're going to hop in here and we're going to boost right about now. You don't want to boost right when you get in because you actually can't really use it too much. And you want to make sure that the Wraith actually moves past to that area. So it still glides a little bit after you uh, bail out, after you boost. So we're going to make sure it's just parked kind of far away because we're actually going to use the target locator to uh, kind of blast this whole area. So you want to make sure your Wraith is not in that area. That's going to be blast. So we can get a bunch of kills uh, off the grunts and skirmishers that jump out of that dropship. Activate the switch. And just, uh, again, make sure that your Wraith is out of that blast zone. So you can see I kind of drove past where the blast zone was. Um, and we're going to just hop in here. And we're just going to keep going. There's going to be a Revenant that's dropped off here along with a Grunt and an Elite. And we could also probably take out the Phantom now that I'm thinking about it. I never really thought about it until I was watching this playback. And uh, I could see that the Phantom kind of hangs out for a while. It should take four hits to kill the Phantom. So you probably could uh, nail that guy. And then focus your attention on the Revenant and the two infantry there. But that's all right. We're going to move up and we're going to take out all of the enemies in this area. There should be a couple ghosts, a couple Revenants, some infantry lying around. So just take out these guys again as quickly as possible. And we'll be able to move to the next section. The uh, The vehicles are the priority. If you leave, you know, a couple infantry around, that's fine. We could just skip to the last, uh, or not the last section, but the next section. Um, because the, the vehicles give you a lot of points, obviously. So we're going to take those guys out for sure. And then we'll just move up. Took that guy out. He dodged my first shot. Got in a little closer than I would like. But we're going to activate this switch. And uh, I actually forgot to grab the rockets. You could actually grab the rockets uh, below the roof. The last building we were on when we activated that last switch, uh, there was actually a bunch of rockets underneath that uh, roof. So the floor below that had rockets in it. Um, I should have grabbed those. But we're going to grab these at least right here. So I'm wasting a little bit of time because I didn't grab them initially. But we're going to go over here, grab them, and uh, we want to keep our target locator, and we'll have rockets as well. So if you happen to pick up the rockets uh, in the previous section I was talking about, make sure you exchange your DMR, not your target locator, because we want to use that one more time up here. Unfortunately, you can't use it inside because, obviously, the strikes come from orbit. So if you're trying to kill people that are inside, you will not be able to use the target locator to great effect because the roof will just protect them. So uh, we have one more opportunity to use this, actually, and it's a good one up here. We're going to move forward, and we're going to target locate that box. I like to use that box as kind of a little landmark. Just kind of focus on that, and then the enemies that are moving forward will just be totally killed by them, and we'll exchange our target locator for a DMR now. So we have rockets and DMR. You can see there was more DMR in the crate that we grabbed it from, and also some more in the middle there by that dead Marine. So, And you can see a couple of elites actually survived the blast, so we're just going to take them out the old-fashioned way with the DMR. And then we're going to move forward, and we're going to use the rockets that we grabbed to take out these hunters. Unfortunately, I don't have that much ammo because famine is on. And I would have had more if I actually grabbed the uh, first round of rockets that I was talking about at one of the previous switches. But we did not do that. So if you don't do that either, you could always just use grenades. There's more grenades where I was shooting on the ground there and more on the wall right here by the shotgun ammo. So you should have seven frags available from the ones you already have. Uh, you should have two plasma grenades from when we picked them up in the beginning of the level. So you should have a good amount of, uh, you know, explosives to deal with these guys, even without the rockets. So we're going to go into the elevator as soon as it opens up. We're going to ignore the fact that Cat is abandoned and we left her behind with those elites. and the, Or not elites, but the Covenant. So uh, we'll just kind of move forward. And we're going to sprint ahead to the left. And there's going to be the elite on the left over here. He kind of comes and he's scripted to just kind of stand there. But uh, you could noob combo him if you'd like. Sometimes he kind of hangs back there or hangs forward. So he'll punch you as you move forward, but just like in the beginning of the mission, we could just wrap around behind him and punch him in the back. Those grunts will probably turn into suicide grunts. The video faded right there a little bit because I actually got stuck in this room by an elite, so I had to revert. So I lost a little bit of time and some points, but you can see there's two pairs of jackals, so this ending sequence takes a little bit longer. But Emil's helping you out, possible, and then I like to noob combo this elite, and then we go up the ramp, hop onto this window ledge, and then hop up onto this ramp, and we'll move up here, and we've despawned all of the enemies that are above this first section here. So we don't have to worry about those guys. We could just run to the end as fast as possible to get a maximum time bonus. 
and there's going to be DMR ammo up on the wall over here to our right. I'm not going to grab it because I don't need it. I don't want to waste the time. Grab the rockets. There's health on the wall to the left before that doorway if you need it. And we're going to just take out these jackals as quickly as possible. You could rocket them if you'd like. And we want to move forward to this box. There's going to be a phantom that comes in, and you can see it right here. We want to lock on and start shooting it right away. But after the first couple uh, shots with the rockets, we want to just wait behind this crate and wait for them to drop off the two elites, two invisible elites, get dropped off by the crate over here. We want to fire at this uh, area once they get dropped off and take these guys out as quickly as possible. They're the only real additional threat on top of the phantom. The phantom has some gunners on it, and they could uh, take you out pretty quickly. So we want to focus on taking out the phantom once we take out those two invisible elites. Unfortunately, the invisible elites don't land in the exact same spot every time, so you can't really kind of just plan exactly where you want to land that rocket. But uh, take those guys out, then focus on those phantoms. Then we're going to focus on these banshees. And unfortunately, since we have tough luck on, uh, they are going to dodge more often than they would normally. So you can see them, uh, as soon as a rocket gets close to them, they actually do like an evasive maneuver. So they avoid rockets more often than they would normally. So unfortunately, that's the trade-off we make uh, for having an increased score is this ending sequence takes a little bit longer. But Emil's helping you out. So we finished here in 11 minutes, 38 seconds. We did not hit part-time, so we did not get the maximum time bonus, but we got a pretty good one. Part-time is 10 minutes, so we weren't that far off. And you can see our score is over 52,000, and the par score for this mission is 25,000. So we got more than double that. So the achievement would pop here. I already got this achievement, so it didn't pop here visually. So give it a shot. Definitely a lot of room for error. You don't have to get this run exactly um, because, again, like I mentioned, we got double, more than double the par score. So if you don't get as good of a time or you don't kill as many enemies, you can still get the par score if you do the majority of what's in this guide. So that is it for this one, guys. I'll see you when we tackle the par score for Nightfall. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, be sure to click on the scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You can also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen, and you can find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides, and I'll see you in the next one.